Hello, namaste, and welcome to my channel, Spiritual Regina, where I encourage you to live from your soul. My name is Gina. Today I have for you guys money, prosperity, energy update. We have three piles to pick from. I guess I'm back now from a little hiatus, and I wasn't really fully motivated, but I wanted to get some content out for you guys, and I feel that my ancestors my guides my angels are kind of like asking me to keep um just keep to be consistent basically consistency can be consistency really is key so we have three piles to pick from today for your money prosperity energy update and by the way this topic was uh picked because i do polls as to what the um pick a cards are now so if you're interested in your voice being heard about what pick a cards I do you can thank you for liking the video commenting subscribing and you can also check out my community community tab as well so three piles to pick from today we have pile one pyrite for more masculine energy we have um amethyst for more feminine energy and then we have the lapis luzi cube for more of a balance okay so please gash your gaze upon the crystals and pick well first ask your ancestors your spirit guides or higher self which one has a message for you i want to thank your spirit team your ancestors your angels for coming in and assisting assisting with today's readings again please pick whatever part you resonate most with and i will see you at your reading Hello and welcome to your reading, Pile Ones. This will be for if you chose the beautiful Pyrite. This will be your reading for money, prosperity, energy update. And towards the end, I will also be, I have some cards drawn as to um, how to fire up your creativity because really money loves a creative soul. I mean, money loves to flow through creativity. And so I pulled some cards. So again, thinking your ancestors, your higher self, your angels, and also my ancestors, my higher self, my angels, spirit team for coming in and assisting. So I'm going to pull four cards here and do any clarification as needed. So please let us know what this person's energy update is with money. Okay, coming out really fast here. We have judgment. We have the three of swords. The Seven of Swords. Wow, and the Five of Swords. So my guides are letting me know that there is definitely some distortion around the way you, you view money currently. And more specifically, around the way you viewed yourself able to receive money. I'm seeing here like it being you know very specific um very um just to augmented your viewpoints very much you know in the head about it and of course you want to be logical when it comes to you know finances we do want to have that balance but i'm seeing here in the cards and my ancestors and guides and angels are letting me know that there's just some distortion here. There's no other way to put it. Um, you're seeing things in a very specific way, but we always have the option to, you know, change and extend our viewpoints of things. We always, we have the five here. We always have the option with the page, the card of exploring your creative endeavors, your creativity. We always have the option and the three of wands behind that. We always have the option to shift our mental state, no matter what the outer circumstances are. And it may seem, you know, unapplicable, 
what I'm seeing here, just, you know, you being in a very finite kind of scarcity, scarcity state and, you know, it affecting maybe your emotional health, there being some, you know, emotional um, ties or um, reactions to money and what you perceive yourself able to have. You have the three of uh, pentacles here. Again, the energy wanting to find that flow, but it basically feeling stuck. I feel basically the message here is that money is wanting to find a flow into your life, but really it's stuck. Um, and so I again, we have the creative cards here. So we do, we'll have some solutions to this, don't worry. Um, but yeah, I'm just seeing here what money really wanting to flow, but again, it just being stuck in the way you see things so maybe needing to connect with your body more connect with your ancestors the ancestor realm maybe even spiritual teachings around money around abundance so you can really find a new personal truth a new personal story when it comes to money that isn't so rigid and almost as well slightly self-defeating but I am seeing that change. It may take, you know, some maturation. Um, but we did have the sword here come in first. So it could happen sooner than you expected. But I do, again, see here, you know, maturation. And maybe, you know, you stepping into your passion. You stepping outside of your mind. You having that aha moment that really inspires, um the energy of enlightenment, of change, of seeing things again in a new way, of changing your perspective. The gift of the swords or the crux of the swords is that they impose limitations, but the gift of the sword is learning how to work past that limitation, work past that energy. And I'm loving that I'm seeing, you know, that beautiful like you know flower here coming out of the sword so seeing the beauty in all possibilities in all situations again just really changing the way you perceive money and again i have some tips about how to do that and how to tap into your creativity more because creativity also did come up for you with this page of wands especially with three of wands as well really you know expanding into that um expanding into that in those endeavors even if it you know it means kind of radically changing your life you know um just whatever you're comfortable with but also pushing yourself slightly outside of your comf comfort zone because i feel that you know we want to stay in our comfort zones but sometimes our comfort zones make us feel the most uncomfortable <laughs> it's a strange it's not really comfortable it's like this false sense of security and i feel that Basically, it's your ancestors, your guides, your angels are wanting you to move past this, you know, false sense of security, um, this false sense of emotional reaction towards money and, you know, stepping into your power. But again, it being to just needing to be less rigid thinking around money, perhaps studying some higher teachings around money so you can get another perspective, a perspective that, you know, isn't so rigid isn't so um um one that inspires emotional action or one that inspires emotional growth versus one that causes regression so we have your two cards here um this will be just general career advice you know things you may or may not be able to apply so we have and this is more so for business type people more businessy like savvy books but i wanted to still use it here so no matter what you're doing, just try to fit it to your situation. This is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what does not. We have add-ons. The probability of selling to a new prospect is 5 to 20. The probability of selling to existing customers is 60 to 70. How can you sell more to your customers? Ex explorations, updates, upgrades, subscriptions, upselling, better products, cross-selling, complementary goods. What are other businesses doing? And I want to cautious you a little bit here, you know, know your market, but also be in your own flow. So this is for people that this could be like if you want to 
if you're at a job or something and maybe you know you have an idea about how to improve something or improve an area anyways continue and this is also again for like if you are solopreneur entrepreneur solopreneur whatever word they want to use now um this can just something this is something that you could apply to your business basically but not everyone again is a solopreneur um where can you reach these customers inserts emails and app social media, other businesses. This could be basically about expansion in your current role at work or, um, you know, expanding what you offer if you have a business. When are the customers most likely to take your offer? Also finding out your customer's patterns um, if you are a solopreneur um, and maybe if you aren't, fall, fall, figuring out your boss's plans, your, your boss's patterns, Figuring out, you know, how to be, if you want to be the star employee, how to be the star employee. Um, but again, for many of you guys, I'm filming a lot of solo printers here. Um, then we have here specials. What kinds of promotions make sense for you when? Where can you promote them? After experimenting, which are most effective? Specials. Special deal, limited time offer, everyone ever. So basically considering what run of promotions during high low seasons to get to give your brand awareness um have incentives include buy one get one two for one discounts throw-ins joint promotions etc etc um you can also reward sharing on social media um so yeah the bas basically this card is saying to just kind of upsell in a way that makes sense for whatever you're doing. So again, if you're like boss baby at a nine to five, um, what can you bring that is different and or special to the table that other employees don't have? And you can ask and it is given, simply ask and the answer will be given unto you. And if you are a solopreneur, a solopreneur, again, whatever they say, um, figuring out what specials you can do to support the offers that you have. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and see how you can tap into your creativity to manifest the desired money and or results you want. So we have procrastination, we have limits, what I was saying guys, limited thinking. And I was saying reaction to your reaction, emotional reaction to, you know, the stimulus of money. And we have limits, literally, I was saying limiting you, your thought patterns, your beliefs are limiting you. Know that limiting attitudes are often formed as protective reactions to past events. So a very, very powerful message there. And if you have been procrastinating at all, giving yourself grace, compassion, love, and getting off of your ass and doing the damn thing, okay? And then we have here, sacred space. Use beautiful art, music, and creativity of all kinds to put you into a sacred space. So something that really, you know, soothes and opens up your aura. Something that, you know, an activity or even before you begin to create, even if like before you go to work, if you're working nine to five, if you're creating something, putting yourself in that sacred space to where you really allow that Sahasrara chakra and the Agni chakra to open, um, to work in harmony together. Um, I feel that the sacred space could basically be a, um, a buffer towards your limiting beliefs, your limiting thoughts, your limiting patterns, things like that. So I feel basically the sacred space could be important for your overall mental growth, all right? So that will be all that I have um, for my power number ones. This was a very beautiful reading. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. I want to thank your guides, your ancestors, your angels, how yourself for coming in and helping us listen to this reading. Letting, letting me go with love and light, disconnecting. You can book your reading with me soon. I am relaunching my website, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you so much. Namaste. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your reading, Paltus. 
This would be for if you chose the beautiful amethyst crystal. This would be your reading. Um, your money, prosperity, energy update. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. I want to thank your ancestors, your guides, your angels for coming in and assisting with this reading, as well as my own. Just hopping right into it without further ado. Um, give me some cards, please, on my pal twos, money, energy. I'm going to go ahead. I've been using like a quartz to kind of amplify the energy. So I'm going to go ahead and move some crystals around. Just give me a second to tap into this energy and amplify it. We have the Four of Pentacles, but I think one would jump out there. We have the King of Pentacles, okay. Okay, we have the Moon, and we have what an interesting spread here, okay bottom of the deck we have the fool then we have the sun the page the knight king excuse me and the seven okay this is very interesting energy so your money prosperity energy update i feel that this is talking about how you have systems in place that will basically serve you um or maybe it's like you are establishing systems that will serve you maybe establishing a routine a certain you know um um way of doing something that's very specific and we're seeing here a certain amount of specificity you know benefiting you in the long run you're doing something a very specific reliable tested way that benefits you and with the six of swords here i don't often read it as travel but i'm seeing it you know as the opportunity for travel but there's still being i don't know this moon card here we have first the sun and then we have the moon so there's this element um of duality of and this is a feminine stone too of duality um present i'm not quite sure what that means yet so i'm sure they'll let me know eventually as like specified to you um but yeah i'm seeing basically the opportunity for travel but maybe i guess hesitation maybe there's still some you know residual fear maybe is what this moon card is because i feel here almost the moon is the moon card for me here is functioning as somewhat of a weight so you may feel that you know you have a weight on you currently or you want to become unweighted i feel that again especially when you continue to follow this like routine on um, this you know um way of doing something it will be very very beneficial to you and i also feel here i also feel here again the opportunity for travel that's going to be very very big for you but again coming back to this bloody moon I feel this could be about you embracing your inner authority and maybe, you know, fear around embracing your inner authority. So your money, prosperity, energy update, it feels honestly very strong. I feel that, again, it's like you have certain systems in place that, you know, are serving you. Um, but I guess the biggest thing here is there's still some residual, maybe, you know, fear of following your intuition, fear of following what you know to be true for you so just asking yourself what do you know to be true to you what is your intuition telling you where is your intuition leading you and not necessarily having to know the path the way but feeling the strength of the cord that you're tethered to regarding the path meaning like if it's something you're supposed to be doing you may not have all the details but you just have this very strong inclination and especially with the night excuse me the king i keep calling him the knight he's like bitch <laughs> he's like um he's, but especially with the king of wands and the seven of wands there's this energy of perseverance of having you know this like 
this cautious optimism and this very strong spirit and you know maybe not knowing where to swing you know maybe not knowing where to go we have the fool with him. I said, what's the guy with that energy again? We have the fool with the hermit card. So I feel this kind of sums up everything up. It's like this energy of wanting to be very spontaneous, very open, but also, you know, I guess not second guessing as much as, um, as much as, I guess, having some baggage, emotional baggage, perhaps. A lot of us is going to be ancestral as well but there's there is this idea of new construction of new reality you know being laid around you so again i would say continue whatever practice this is and if it's um if it's not a practice that you have already started you're being encouraged to start a routine that supports your money evolution maybe that's learning about money Maybe that's, you know, having a routine. I don't know. There's just something about a routine that I don't know what that means for you. But a routine that will help assist you. And maybe even dispel some fears that you have. That are lingering, basically, with this moon card here. I feel the moon card is a, a mix of, like, you know, anxiety. But also, you know, like, having the the it floored, basically. So, you know, already doing it but still having some reservations. That's what I'm seeing here in the cards. So I'm going to go ahead and pull your other cards here, your Oracle cards, and we will take a look into how you can work with your creative energy to manifest money. So you guys got three cards. Yeah, three. So we have here independent contractors. And by the way, this is more like if you have a business but i'm still reading it you know as a someone that has a nine to five as well but just keeping that in mind is that business but then also like oh nine to five too so we have independent contractors basically like team effort so maybe you can hire people to do the things you don't want to do or to create systems that um, will benefit your business. Um, and if you are a nine to fiver, um, maybe an opportunity coming up for some of you guys to work along but outside of the company, like doing, you know, errands for your boss, for the company. Something like that. I'm seeing someone doing errands, like someone working with the company, but still doing errands on the side or something for the company, but it's like independent errands. Like I know, for example, I'll give example from my previous nine to five work life. I would sometimes, you know, go to McDonald's and get um, food for everyone. Oh, even I would go to Walmart and get food for everyone. So it was not something I was paid for, you know, but... It is something like independent contractor-ish. We have motivation. First, they ignore you. Then when they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Um, as a leader, your motivation and energy trickle down, setting the pace for your team. Remember the reasons you... Re remember the reasons why you committed to your business and the cost of failure. Dopamine diet by avoiding pleasurable activities and tackle your hardest problems first each morning. Watch motivational videos. It says dopamine diet, but then it says watch motivational videos. What do you think motivational videos do, guys? <laughs> Fucks up your dopamine. That's just funny to me. Anyways, prove your naysayers wrong. Would you win it yourself? So basically establishing maybe a routine that aids in your motivation, that, you know, jazzes you up, that makes you feel alive. In the morning time that's applicable to everyone and we have a brand style guide so my for my nine to fivers this would be basically how you dress at work what accessories you wear how you look overall and even if you do have to wear a uniform there are still things you can do to basically stand out so i'm seeing here basically the energy for my nine to fivers of standing out and then for people who have solopreneur um solopreneur whatever you want to call it whatever they call it 
um, I'm seeing here, you know, you establishing a routine that aids in your motivation, you building your brand to be, you know, um, recognized and, you know, understanding, you know, what archetypes you represent in your business, it says, what colors, fonts, words, and speaking patterns do you use? And where can you outsource work that, where can you outs outsource work at, basically? All right, so how to tap into your creative energy or some tools we have explore and you see we have the six of swords there and i go back to the energy of travel so you may be traveling sometime soon or you may be wanting to travel so that could definitely be in the cards for you okay um trust your inter imagination to help you journey through your inner landscape to find what you seek and also here with this moon card is tapping into as well Maybe tapping into what's behind the fear that you feel, what's behind, you know, the veneer of the desires that you think you want and tapping into, tapping deeper into more than I just want money and prosperity and understanding what money means to you, how money makes you feel, what prosperity means to you, how prosperity makes you feel and what's beyond, what feeling, what emotion do you feel beyond those words? Hashtag money shadow work. Okay, and then we have recycle. Learn from the past and apply it to creating your vision of the future. Didn't I just say money shadow work? Basically, shadow work is recycling events from the past to extract wisdom from them, especially if they were um, incidents. I don't want to say the T word because we throw that word around a lot and it may be that you did experience T, but I want to use the word incidents because it softens it a lot. So that's going to be all for my pal number twos. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Um, and yeah, you can book a reading with me soon. I am relaunching my website. Thank you so much. Namaste. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your readings. My pal number threes. This will be for if you chose the beautiful lapis lazuli cube. This will be your money, prosperity, energy update. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. I want to thank your ancestors, higher self angels, spirit team, for helping you find the channel, or for welcoming you back. So, this will be money, uh, again, money, prosperity, energy update. And this this energy here for me is more balanced. This um, Lapis Luzi, definitely feminine, but still a very balanced man so what do you want my pal please you know we have the eight of pentacles okay we have the ten of swords very interesting we have the nine of pentacles. So eight, ten, nine. And we have the will of fortune. Two tens. All right. So this is letting me know that you are basically destined for a change. Um, but you have to uh, this ten of swords will be to your detriment your mindset can be to your detriment basically like really see look at this energy there's really this you know wow really there i'm seeing here the power of creation and the power of having staying power as well with the seven of pentacles here i'm seeing you know collaborations i'm seeing trips i'm seeing expansion i'm seeing heart felt leadership especially again you collaborating with people and this is a path that you are studying on so your money financial excuse me your money prosperity energy update really is going to come down to the mindset here with this ten of swords i feel that this card could be definitely to your detriment again means another set in stone um, but I feel that there could be more progression. There will be more progression once you 
um, you know, quiet the mind and clear the energy in the head. Tapping into your heart, but making sure that you are connecting with your body as well as your heart. So connecting with your mind as well as your heart. It's not one or the other, rather than working in harmony. And I feel here, you know, as you begin to have more harmonious conversations with yourself as well. You, again, I'm just seeing collaboration in the works for you. But yes, it is contingent on transformation. And not even contingent, it's not the right word. It is, it will best serve you and others that you will help with this heart into leadership that you complete this transformation so you can show them like what's on the other side so i feel this death card which is the nameless arcana in the tarot of my tradition i feel this death card is an invitation to transform to you know become that phoenix that rises from the ashes that fucking cliche saying right but transformation is the spice of life it's the only way that we can continuously renew ourselves. And again, I feel that this Ten of Swords, I'm just seeing it being to your detriment. I'm seeing that it possibly being like, you need to really, you know, just clean up um, your money, energy, vibration. It's not to, you know, again, tear runes and never set in stone, not to scare you, put fear on you, etc. But maybe this is like even clearing out the fear-based mindsets that you have around money. You know, the fear energy. Asking your spirit guides, your ancestors, your higher self to come in and help you, assist you clear this energy if you don't know exactly what to do. Because again, I'm feeling that it could be unbeneficial. It could be, um, it could just be more than the path that you can take is more simpler, will be more simpler once you clear this energy. There'll be more space for love in your life, I feel. Love of what you do, love for the people. But there's just this energy here in these cards of um of gaiety, of happiness, of lightness, of fun, you know, of 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 group, of stability, of ooh, excuse me. As, as I say that I knock over the thing. Of stability, you know, still though. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and see what your cards. So I have here some more advice. And then I also have how can you tap into your creativity. So we have analytics. And I was saying um, we should include our brain. And it's going to be more analytical. It's funny. Um, in the end, you should only measure and look at the numbers that drive action, meaning the data that tells you what you should do next. Data-driven decision-making isn't just a competitive advantage. With where the world is going, it's quickly becoming a necessity. Everywhere you look, from producing ga movies, games, whatever, hiring, firing, everything is increasingly being run on data. Which decisions can be improved with data back insights? How and where can you implement feedback loops to collect that data? How can you supplement your data with industry reports, trends, and new studies? So I feel analytics for my nine to fivers, maybe, you know, analyzing your boss. Um, I'm not really some, maybe, you know, analyzing your company profits, something like that. I don't know. I'm not really seeing much here, but definitely for my solopreneurs, my entrepreneurs, know your market. Okay. That's what's been said. And we have trademark here. Um, have you been added? Have you added trademark symbols to your logo brand? Have you formally registered your trademarks? Have you considered licensing your trademarks for others to use? So basically, protecting your brand identity. Okay. So I feel that this is basically saying, especially when you fix this mindset, and especially, you know, when you like do like the marketing shit you know and this is going to be for soap when you were so i think at this point you can click off if yeah but anyways um but thank you for watching your ancestors guides angels etc etc but i think this is going to be more geared towards soap newers entrepreneurs etc um 
I feel here basically a shift happening. So I feel here it's like you preparing for that shift before it takes place. So especially if you have a brand identity, protecting your brand identity before this big shift happening. And again, really focusing on your mindset at this point in time is going to be really beneficial for you. Really combining the 3D stuff, the like marketing, the analyzing, the, the boring shit really with the more like woo-woo stuff, you know? And I just, I feel here this beautiful storm of energy happening for you, but you also being, you know, prepared for that by prepping essentially. So we have, um, as your creative advice to unlock your creativity, we have habits. Examine habits that may impede the pathways to your goals and encourage beneficial ones. So weeding out the bad habits, amplifying the good ones. And this could be that Ten of Swords mentality. And then we have pause. Except that you must wait and prepare for developments to reach the next stage. I feel that you've already made these preparations as I was talking about before I pulled that card. Um, but you may still need to prep in certain areas, you know, dot your T's, dot your I's, cross your T's, excuse me. Um, so yeah, this would be your reading. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I want to thank your guides, your higher self, your angels for coming in and assisting. Um, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Namaste.